Hey, throw me a seltzer. Today on How to Drink, I'm tasting hard seltzers. I'm gonna need a towel. I'm gonna subject myself to the mind-numbing, grueling task of running through every hard seltzer I can get my hands on to find out which ones are good, which ones are okay, and which ones you absolutely should not buy. Do you drink hard seltzer? I don't know, that's up to you. But I do occasionally. Me and my wife enjoy the occasional White Claw. But is White Claw the best? Or just what's available easily, locally and conveniently? Uh, let's find out. So let's start <laughs> with the one that was just pitched to me from off camera. Uh, this is called, from a brand called Amas, and this one is Surfer Rosso. Why don't we throw me all the Amases? Toss me. Toss me an Amas! Go for it. <laughs> Fuck me! Yeah, okay, thank you. So this is the Amas seltzer line. They've got three that I'm aware of. Surfer Rosso, Fairy Fizz, and Sunshine, okay? Are they up market? I don't know, but I tell you what, I cracked open this one in the cold open the first time I had it. It was pretty good. This is Surfer Rosso. It's hibiscus, ginger, and turmeric. I like that. I mean, it's a ginger seltzer with some alcohol in it. What's the ABV? 5%, right. Contains 3% juice. So it's a sugar beer, 3% juice, and some of it's ginger and hibiscus and stuff like that and turmeric. And I think it's pretty good. There's no weird flavors in there. It just tastes like what you would expect it to. You may not like ginger and turmeric. I happen to. This might be one of my favorite hard seltzers I've ever had, to be perfectly honest. I don't want to downplay it, and just, but we're moving quickly here. Really good, actually. I like that a lot. It's nice. It's nice. There's nothing weird in there. This one is, what is this one? This one is Sunshine, Mandarin, Vanilla, and Oak. Okay, so this is Mandarin, though. I mean, maybe in a light vanilla. Oh, yeah. Mandarin and Vanilla. So it kind of gets like a creamsicle thing going without being overly sweet. Again, good. I and mean, this is good. There's no weird flavor notes in there. I like that. In the black can. Which one is this one? This one's called Fairy Fizz. Uh, jasmine, Cardamom, and Raspberry. Raspberry. That was not for me. I'm not into that one. It's got that raspberry thing, and I usually like raspberry. I think I just don't like a raspberry hard seltzer. You might like it. The other two are really interesting and good, actually. I actually quite like those. I don't know. 110 calories? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we'll get rid of these. I'm working on my own hard seltzer recipe right here, so we'll just keep that there. Now, hey, throw me a hard seltzer. Yeah, we're gonna do that for all of them. That's great. We're gonna try High Noon. High Noon is very popular locally. I don't know if those are all over the place, but I know where I'm at here on the Jersey Shore. Man, spoiler, I'm on the Jersey Shore. High noons are pretty much everywhere. People say, oh, that's the good one. That's way better than the uh, the White Claw, which is like kind of ubiquitous, right? I find, generally speaking, hard seltzers that are grapefruit flavored are always good. I don't know why that is. I like that. That is tart, refreshing, not sweet, and alcoholic. That is what I'm looking for in a hard seltzer. This does all of the things. There's no weird flavors in there. Vodka with real fruit juice. So this one's been distilled. The alcohol component of this has been distilled. So this is an interesting thing, right? This is 4.5% alcohol by volume. The other ones are 5% alcohol by volume. Those are getting their alcohol from a beer. And what that means is that that beer that they're putting in the can is a lower proof beer. And so that means a lot more of that can has to be dedicated to having that beer in there for the overall body of the can to be 5% alcohol. Here, we're getting our alcohol from vodka, which means I can put a lot less alcohol to leave me more room to add seltzer, to add flavors, to add grapefruit, all that stuff, and still have 5% alcohol. Do I love it? I don't love it. Would I send it back? Absolutely not. It is doing what it says it's supposed to do. Let's see the rest of the high noon line. Throw them in. Oh, God. Yeah, good. Perfect. We're getting better at this. This is black cherry made with real juice. Same percent, four and a half. Yeah, four and a half. God, that tastes like um, White Rock Black Cherry Soda with less sugar in it. You guys remember White Rock Black Cherry Soda has that like uh, bathing fairy lady sitting on the White Rock on the can? That's the picture of it, White Rock. Yeah, I remember that. Anyway, Black Cherry Soda. I used to like that when I was a kid once in a while as a special treat. I don't think my parents were putting vodka in mine, but maybe they were. It is what it says. I mean, it tastes like black cherry and vodka and seltzer. I don't really love it as a combo. Personally, I think the grapefruit's a better taste, but I just think the grapefruit works really good. This one is uh, watermelon. Watermelon. Fucking hey, man. It tastes like watermelon grape. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. That tastes fantastic. It tastes like a watermelon Jolly Rancher with no sugar, with like almost no sugar. 2.6 grams of sugar. I mean, that's nothing when you're talking about a canned 
beverage. 2.6 grams is like a couple bar spoons. And then this is uh, pineapple. I think I've had pineapple, I like this one. But honestly, the freaking watermelon's really good. Oh man, you take this watermelon one, this is what you do, you get yourself a glass, you get some ice, you rim it with tahini, and put a twi twist of lime in the ice, and then you dump that in there. That'd be delicious. I want that now. This will not go into the swill bucket. This is a pineapple. It tastes like pineapple. Compared to a lot of these other flavors you're working with, the pineapple doesn't hold up the strongest. It's more of a wisp, it's more of an aftertaste. Whereas the other ones are very upfront with their black cherry, with their, their grapefruit, with their watermelon. They're loud flavors. I think it's the weakest of the, of the four, honestly, but I still like it better than the black cherry. But that's a personal thing. It does taste like the black cherry soda, like I said. I just don't think I like that as a vodka soda. I just don't think I like it. All right, I'm gonna save this watermelon. I got plans for it. I have a good idea for that one. Uh, boop, boop. Uh, throw me a hard seltzer. Yeah, there's a White Claw. We're doing White Claw now. So this is a White Claw natural lime. It says natural lime. That tastes like the fakest natural lime I've ever had. That doesn't taste like real lime. <laughs> that tastes fake as hell. There's less than two grams of citric acid and less than that natural lime juice concentrate. There's a fucking drop of natural lime juice in here is what I'm getting at. And then some sodium citrate. So the natural flavors are where the lime juice is coming from. What are the natural flavors? We don't know. Mm, tastes artificial. It tastes like, uh, oh man, it tastes like that, the frozen um, ice pop that comes in a sucky tube that you put in the freezer. And then when you have a pool party uh, at a friend's house, mom will be like, here, I got the ice pops. And then you have to cut them with the, the plastic. And you, you suck it. Tastes like that with no sugar. Throw me a hard seltzer. Yeah, getting better at this. This is ruby grapefruit. Probably gonna be a good one. I like a ruby grapefruit. No, it's not though. I mean, that's the thing. This is way less good than the high noon grapefruit was. The high noon grapefruit was, I mean, had this beat hands down for like what, an extra 20 calories? Oh, no, same, 100 calories. No, 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 no. Get the high noon. The high noon is a billion times better if you like the grapefruit. The difference is night and day. This is thin, weak garbage by comparison. It really is, it's a huge difference. I really wish I hadn't dumped this, I'm a fucking idiot. All right, throw me the rest of those claws. Yeah. Oh, God damn it. Yep, that, I deserve that. Okay, so we got from White Claw, we got raspberry. Woo, that's terrible. This is awful. It's black cherry. They just taste thin, metallic, fake. I, don't, I can't put my finger on it. They don't taste good. I, I honestly, I think the White Claw, you know, is certainly so far the least good. These are terrible. Here at How to Drink, you know, we're working on our own hard seltzer over here in my very large graduated seltz cylinder. These don't make the cut. They're not going in the cylinder. We're gonna put them into the dump bucket. Hey, throw me a hard seltzer. Yeah, perfect. That one's malty. It tastes like a, a beer. It tastes like a malty, whiny beer. That's lunar hard seltzer. And we're gonna get into that right after this. A wise man once said something about treating my body more like a tent than a temple and okay, mea culpa. So let's just say that there's uh, some nutritional gaps in my diet and probably yours too. And that's why I fill those gaps with a multivitamin from Ritual who happened to be the sponsor of this episode. So thank you, Ritual. Sure, there's a lot of other multivitamins out there, but I went with Ritual because these little capsules have no fillers or colorants or weird stuff. It's literally just the bits and pieces it needs to do the job and nothing extra. Even the packaging is all made from 100% recycled materials. They're vegan and use algal oil, for example, instead of fish oil. And you know, that all matters to me a bit at least. You know, if there's a way to do a thing that's gonna be more environmentally friendly, I think that's the way it should be done as far as I'm concerned. I take this essential for men every day. It's got 10 quality nutrients in it, A, D, omega-3, zinc, all that other good stuff that's not so easy to find in a typical diet. But Ritual also makes vitamins formulated for women and people over 50, prenatal, postnatal, and teens, which sounds like it's gonna cover just about everybody, right? It's only a dollar a day to get these things delivered straight to your door, which saves you from running out. And right now, Ritual is offering 10% off your first three months by using the link in the pin comp below and the code you see right here at checkout. Okay, you guys head back to your regularly scheduled HD programming. I'm off to go see if I can put some more gaps into my diet. Uh, these are really pretty cool. They do use real fruit juice. They are... Um, all built around Asian American flavors. They actively support AAPI causes, which is pretty cool. I'm for that. 
The thing about this is that these are flavors that I'm not super familiar with. Lunar was nice enough to send me a sample package and thank you, Lunar, I appreciate that. I hope you don't mind me speaking very frankly about your brand. I really like Lunar. I think Lunar is really cool. Here, throw me the other flavors. Throw me another hard seltzer. Oh, yeah, that's how we do it. We've got ourselves uh, yuzu and lychee and plum. This is an interesting departure, right? Like most of the hard seltzers are following very American tastes, very, you know, lime, citrus, and out of state's grocery store, pick a fence, uh, fruits and stuff. This is very um, following an Asian palette, flavor palette. So they're flavors you may not expect, but they're good. They're really good. I will say this about Lunar. They are maltier than the other ones. They are much more beer or wine-like, and I can't really express exactly why or how that is, except that I my mouth knows it to be true. So plum, it tastes somewhere like a plum, a pear. Plums and pears in my mind sort of taste similar, I guess. I like it, I like it. This one is the lychee. It's way more floral than I would have expected. Personally, it's not my favorite of the three. And then this is the yuzu. Yuzu is a citrus fruit. Very dry, very tart, very citrus, like um, like a tangerine with no sugar added, is what that tastes like. I like that. I like that quite a bit. I think that of the three, I really like the plum a lot. I mostly like the yuzu. I'm not in love with the lychee, but I think that it's probably somebody's favorite. There's nothing bad about any of these. These are not terrible. We're coming to some terrible ones, trust me. All three of these belong in the HTD cylinder uh, for sure. Get them in there, a little more plum. I like that plum. Get some plum in there. If you wanna try uh, Lunar or some of these other seltzers, I don't know which ones are, why don't you check out Curiata? They're in the pinned comment below. So if you wanna try out Lunar or maybe some of these other ones, I don't know that Curiata's gonna carry all of them. I'm looking at some Bud Light over there. I don't think Bud Light seltzer is gonna wind up on Curiata, but it might. Lunar will definitely be up on Curiata. So check them out at drink.curiata.com. Order a case today. Hey. Throw me a hard seltzer. Yeah! Killed it with that one. This is Nectar. Divinely different. It's Mandarin, this one. 90 calories. So they've cheated themselves out of 10 calories. Manifested in Los Angeles, California, brewed and canned by Divinely Nectar Normal, Illinois. Okay, whatever. That's not good. That one's not good. That, oh man. Oh, that's garbage. It's fucking garbage. That has the beginnings of what tastes like a mandarin orange, although it's missing all of its sweetness, and then it resolves into, it tastes the way latex paint smells. Let's try another one. Oh, dude. Oh, it's like having a mouthful of fucking balloons. I hate it. Throw me the rest. Let's do them. Hey, Nectar, you make bad stuff. This one is a, uh, woo, Asian pear. Oh, that tastes like a candy, I know. That tastes a little bit like one of those um, green, sour Jolly Ranchers, and then it turns real bad at the end, really bad. You ever smell the inside of a My Little Pony doll from the 80s? They have like a little vent in the foot. If you squeeze it and breathe that in, that's what that tastes like at the end there. It's bad, it's not good, it tastes toxic as hell. I'm sorry, <laughs> they're gonna sue me, I think. I mean, I don't think they can, but. This one is, what is this one? Lychee. It tastes less like lychee than Lunar. I'll say this. If you're drinking nectar, lychee is the one that doesn't taste like something that's gonna give you cancer at the end. The lychee itself isn't great. It's not bad. I mean, it, floral lychee thing. This one's yuzu. Eh. I don't think it tastes like yuzu. I mean, it tastes a little bit like citrus. Sorry, they're the worst ones we've had yet but there's worse yet to come right after this. None of these are going into my, my own brand of, of how to drink seltzer. Let's just get rid of these. Hey, throw me a seltzer. Nice, clean, really explosive. This is truly, I really like that right here, right by the lip, it says contains alcohol in all capital letters, which is actually a thing. I guess there's a real problem with like kids getting into these. Don't let that happen, that's fucked up. So this is truly black cherry. I'm not a fan of the black cherry seltzers. Maybe this is a weird one to start with for truly, but whatever. 5% alcohol, they're all around 5%. Let's just drink it. 
cherry Ooh. cardboard cherry and something <laughs> not right very artificial flavor on truly i'm not a fan the ingredients are filtered carbonated water alcohol natural flavors cane sugar citric acid and sodium citrate so i mean nobody's telling us what's in any of these things and i'll tell you what um this one it's the cheap stuff it's not good uh this one tastes like bad kids medicine throw me another truly Boo! Yeah, throw me all the Trulies. Bring them in. Boo! Uh, this one is raspberry lime. That sounds like a good combo, honestly, for a hard seltzer. I on paper that sounds like a good idea. Oh man, no, it, it misses the mark. That is not good. I don't know why, but the Truly ones, all the flavors are muted. They taste like that flavor. If you were to filter it through wet cardboard, let's try the wild berry. I thought we were over this. I thought we were done with wild berry flavored anything since like 1994. No, nobody wants that. That is just terrible. Terrible. No. Oh. It tastes like a strawberry that farted and into a wet paper bag because it has that weird cardboard taste. That's terrible. This one is blueberry and Asahi. Um, I think Asahis and blueberries are kind of the same fruit, but you know, separated by uh, landmass. So let's try this blueberry Asahi. That tastes absolutely nothing like a blueberry anything. It tastes like seltzer and citric acid. Sort of. It's bad. None of this is good. I can't explain it. It just tastes like shit. I mean, it doesn't literally taste like shit. I would tell you if it tasted like what I assume shit to taste like. Stay away from Truly. They're not good. I don't... You know, if there's a BuzzFeed article or something that says like, here's the 15 hard seltzers to rock your summer and Truly's on the list, that article is bullshit. Truly is shit. Hey, throw me a hard seltzer. I was a little worried there because my hands are getting wet. This is the Michelob Ultra Organic Seltzer Cucumber Lime. I mean, it tastes like cucumber. I thought I was gonna hate this. Coming off of the back of the, the, the Truly, this is not without merit. It does taste like cucumber. It tastes like concentrated cucumber. It tastes more like cucumber than a cucumber tastes like, but it tastes like cucumber. So I give it credit for that. I mean, and it, it's not like a muted flavor that's been filtered through some wet cardboard or whatever, like it's there. This is a solution in search of a problem. Nobody wants a cucumber lime Michelob Ultra hard seltzer. No. This is a flavor profile you don't want. It just makes for a weird, not great hard seltzer. But let's try the other Milka Lebo Ultras. Let's try them, let's shoot them my way. Boom, doing them up. Organic seltzer, this one's peach pear. I don't know if that means it's both or that they couldn't decide. And this one is spicy pineapple. <laughs> let's start with the peach pear. Organic uh, seltzer from Michelob Ultra. This flavor has got no bottom end. It does taste peachy. It does taste pear-y, um, but it's very dry. Peaches and pears both have sweetness to them. There's no sweetness here. And, and frankly, it wants sweetness. If you added a drop of sugar to this, it would be, I mean, that's true for a lot of these. It would be a lot better. If you're looking for a diet, super ultra low cal, no sugar, because this is zero sugar, zero carbs and 80 calories. You know, I guess if you're looking for something that's keto friendly, Although your body processes alcohol as if it were a carbohydrate, so I think it would probably rip you right out of ketosis. As an objective canned hard seltzer, it does a pretty okay job of tasting like the thing it says it tastes like, considering there's no sugar in there. I just don't like it. And that's like a me problem, not a you problem. This is spicy pineapple. I hope it's really spicy. There's nothing spicy about this at all. I am giving this one no credit on the spice department. It does taste like pineapple, but there's no spice. This is bad. They don't taste great, but I think that maybe I'm judging them unfairly if I, if I judge them that way. Like they're trying to be a diet hard seltzer. At the end of the day, do I put them in my graduated cylinder in developing my how to drink hard seltzer? I don't, I don't do it, but I don't, have any ill will towards these, but I am gonna dump it the hell out. All right, throw me a hard seltzer. 
Oh yeah, perfect. Just a disaster there. All right, this is Bud Light Seltzer Mango. Light, simple, bold mango. We got a couple of inches here on the can. Uh, art department, copywriters, what can you come up with? Light, simple, bold mango. Okay, this is uh, Bud Light Seltzer. Here we go. No, mango. <laughs> Not mango, mango. It don't taste like mango at all. It tastes like nothing. That tastes like shit. That's garbage. Sorry, Bud Light. It's bad. It kind of tastes like a wet burp. It tastes like a uh, tangy puke. Let's try these. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mysterious Hands. We haven't had Mysterious Hands on the show in a long time. The Hands of Mystery have returned. This is uh, Bud Light Black Cherry. All the same rules apply to the first one. 100 cal, 5% ABV. Oh my God, that's all. Why would you put that in the can and take people's money for it? Ah, just spit in my mouth. Fuck that. That is terrible. All right, this is the lemon lemon lime. Oh! oh it tastes like my dad's skunky weed. No, man. It's terrible. It's just terrible. I'm getting drunk. Hey, throw me a hard seltzer. Are you trying to trip me up now? This is Willie's Super Brew. Now, I gotta tell you guys, Willie's Superbrew got really high marks on a number of listicles that I, I read in research for this hard-hitting documentary that I'm making right now. So, um, I had very high hopes for this. This is Pineapple and Lime Willie's Superbrew. It does taste like pineapple and lime, but also it has like a weird, salty, sweaty foot flavor. I don't love that, but it does taste like pineapple and lime. So I guess I got to say like, eh, yeah, I just don't like the way they get there, I guess. Give me another. And another. Boom, and another. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're going to pop them all open there. Have ourselves a good HGD time. Blueberry and lemon from Willie's. Does that taste like blueberry and lemon? I don't know. Tastes like lemon and feet. There's a footiness to these. I, I'm sorry. They taste a little foot-like. This one is uh, pomegranate and asahi. It doesn't taste like pomegranate to me. It's tart. It's a little citrusy. I think a lot of these would benefit from like just, just a tiny amount of sugar. This one is mango passion fruit. Oh, that one tastes like burning. That one tastes like a tire fire. That is awful. I'm sorry. These three can go in the cylinder. Oh look, we're getting like a kind of a ombre in color here. We got some pink at the top and a little yellow at the bottom. It's very exciting. Hey! Throw me a hard seltzer. Which one is this? Oh, Smirnoff. Yeah, this is Smirnoff seltzer. Red, white, berry. Red, white, and blue. Zero sugar. Cherry, citrus, blue, raspberry. Premium malt beverage with natural flavors. I should do that without an offensive Russian accent. So here we go. Was it offensive? No, it was just neutral? Okay, fine. Neutral accent. It's called red, white, and berry. Cherry, citrus, and blue raspberry. I guess they're going for a 4th of July thing here. 90 cals. Anyway, let's try the Smirnoff Red, White, and Blue. That ain't good. Nope. Artificial cherry flavor. That's what it tastes like to me. The cherry freezy pop and also the blue one together. That's what you got here. Does that go in my cylinder? It don't. Hey now, throw me a hard seltzer. Ah! Oh, this one is Cantina. Especial ranch water, tequila soda. Now, a lot of these claim to be either vodka soda or sort of just like a hard seltzer, or malt beverage seltzer. But this one is the only one I know of that's claiming to be tequila seltzer. That one's good. That tastes like tequila, seltzer, and lime juice. Has a kind of the buttery tequila notes. Tequila has some buttery notes in it. I mean, like you could taste the tequila there. I like that one a lot. Blanco tequila, natural lime flavor, sea salt, carbonated, uh, carbonation added. No, that tastes right. That tastes like what it's claiming to be. I like that. I've never had like ranch water. I've never been down to Texas and drank ranch water, so I don't really know what it's supposed to taste like. I mean, it definitely tastes like tequila. It goes in the cylinder. Hey, throw me a hard seltzer. That was great. This is uh, two robbers. 
very bitter. You know, it's growing on me. Yeah, it tastes like something. Grapefruit kiwi. I mean, all things being equal, I think I liked the high noon grapefruit better. It doesn't have any off notes. There's no like weird foot thing, super malty thing. There's no burning plastic. It's just not a very present grapefruit flavor. It tastes real, it tastes natural. I mean, I give it that. It doesn't taste like weird fake stuff. This is called Two Robbers. It should be available on Curiata, by the way. I like it, I like it. It is malty and, and authentic tasting. It's not a very loud grapefruit taste. Like if you really want a punch of grapefruit, I do think the High Noon delivers more of that. It does taste, I will say this, compared to High Noon, this tastes more real. It tastes more authentic. It tastes more like they just took some grapefruit and put it in there. It cost me another couple. Let's try the rest of these two Roberts. Yeah, they got some cool design on the cans, right? Like a lot of artwork going on here. Raspberry lime and black cherry lemon. They're all 110 calories, zero grams of sugar added. So this is black cherry lemon. Damn, I like that. And I don't like the black cherries usually. That one is the best black cherry one yet. The black cherry with a little lemon something going on, that makes it a lot better. It tastes more like something you would expect a drink to taste like. That's really cool, I like that. As far as a grapefruit one goes, I'm not thrilled with the grapefruit, but I think it's okay. But if you like a black cherry, and maybe if you like a black cherry, you like the terrible black cherries, but this tastes like way better than all the other black cherries. Let's put it that way. I've had a bunch of raspberry limes today. Let's see if this one is better or worse. That's lime forward. That's actually leading with the lime with just enough raspberry to be recognizable. Yeah, to be perfectly honest, I think that's probably the best of the raspberries I've had too. Of that flavor profile, a raspberry flavor and a black cherry flavor, these, which are both moderated by with citrus, are the best ones I've had by far. I mean, orders of magnitude, way better. If you want a raspberry or a black cherry thing, these are the ones to get, in my opinion. I don't think raspberry or black cherry on their own really work. I think that's why they do a raspberry lime. They do a black cherry lemon because they need that extra citrus kick. Both of those would, would go into the HTD brew. The, the grapefruit kiwi, is not my thing, and it's not my favorite flavor from this brand. I think both of these are much better. Why don't you throw me a hard seltzer? Boom, baby! Founders Masagave Grapefruit, premium hard seltzer. It's got a skeleton hand holding the grapefruit on it. I like that. I don't know why I do, but I like it. It just appeals to my soul. It's like a malty grapefruit. It's like a grapefruit that's been heavily muted. It tastes like grapefruit beer. Yeah, that's what that tastes like. First off, I like it. It's a good one. It's going in the cylinder, don't worry. But, grapefruit to grapefruit, I actually like the High Noon better. Just because the High Noon tastes much more sharply, pungently, even if it's artificially, like grapefruit. This tastes like a beer that was made with grapefruit as a primary ingredient. But it does taste good, it does taste real, and there's no weird artificial aftertaste, right? Throw me another one of these hard seltzers, come on. So this is strawberry hard seltzer from Mas Agave, Mor Agave, brewed for the US. I like that, that tastes like a strawberry hard seltzer. This tastes like a whiff of strawberry. Personally, I don't think strawberry is my go-to flavor for a hard seltzer. I think I'm more of a grapefruit guy, but if you're looking for a strawberry hard seltzer, this is good. Both of these go in the cylinder. Oh boy, the cylinder's are getting full. Yeah. <laughs> this is the last one? Thank the Lord. And I'm an atheist. Throw me a hard seltzer. So this is Solset. I hope I'm really, where the unknown meets the known. At the cusp of what's next, we think bigger and keep our minds open to what could be. I love that. Ingredients. Organic stevia, so there is sweetness here from stevia. Let's try Solset, uh, and this one's ruby red grapefruit. I like that, that's good. That's a good grapefruit. That tastes like a nice, real grapefruit. It tastes punchy and grapefruity. That is what I'm looking for. Hey, throw me a couple more hard seltzers. Boom, boom, look at that. Catch it with my lefty and everything.
Uh, soul sets appear to be about 100 calories. Or maybe that's exactly right. I put this right up there with High Noon. I wish I don't have another High Noon to compare it against, but it's good. It's a very good grapefruit hard seltzer. Black cherry. Okay. Is there a lot of demand for black cherry? Not up here where I'm at. Like, do people want that black cherry hard seltzer? So let's try the black cherry. Maybe that's something that some people like. I don't like this black cherry as much as the Willie's Super Brew black cherry, which was black cherry with lime or lemon or something. This is missing a little bit of zing. Honestly, I don't even think this is of the best black cherries. I will say that they have one of the best grapefruits. The grapefruit's good. This is the um, lime zest. So that would imply high bitterness. Let's see if it, it delivers. Woo! Hey! So in fairness, that's the best lime. That's excellent. That's a really good lime flavor. Zest, dry. Citrus forward, I like that a lot. Let's put the good ones in. Working on this how to drink stuff. So I mentioned earlier in this episode that I wanted to try the watermelon on ice, this uh, high noon watermelon on ice with a little bit of tahini. I thought it would be really good. Let's find out if I'm crazy or not. I have a tiny tasting glass here. Let's uh, rim it with tahini. Crack that in there. And let's uh, pour in our watermelon hard seltzer and screw it. We're gonna put a little more tahini in there because why not? All right, so this is a um, high noon watermelon hard seltzer on the rocks with tahini. I have a funny feeling this is gonna be really good. It is really good. That is so good. Oh man, yeah. That's great. That is awesome. <laughs> it is tangy and a little bit not spicy, tahini isn't spicy, but like the lime flavor and the tahini, the chili flavor, it really works well with the vodka soda watermelon. Try that with a watermelon hard seltzer. All right, so today I tested a whole lot of hard seltzers on the show. Is this an exhaustive list? No, there's definitely a few that fell through the cracks. I'd like to get my hands on Topo Chico, but I was unable to in time to shoot this. There's a couple of other brands as well. But in fairness, I feel like we did a really good gamut. Um, and hopefully that is helpful to you if you're interested in hard seltzers. And if you're not interested in hard seltzers, hopefully you just enjoyed watching me review all these hard seltzers. And of course, I have the How to Drink Hard Seltzer right here. It's a, a blend of all of my favorites from this episode. It does have a little bit of an ombre color to it, so I think it needs to be mixed. I think we need to just give it a little up and down. Oh, it's fizzing over. Yeah, that's that's good healthy fizz on that. And uh, here's a thousand liters of uh, how to drink brand hard seltzer. This will be um, coming to market uh, at a liquor store or grocery store near you. Never. It tastes so much better than you would ever possibly imagine. It's hard to describe. Honestly, it's just nice. This is just nice. I have no objection to this whatsoever. I really thought this would be gross. What is the flavor? It's like cherry, lime, watermelon, grapefruit happiness. It's really not bad at all. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the show. And if you did, I'm on Twitter as well. I'm on Twitter at how to drink. I'm on Instagram at how to drink. I'm on Patreon at patreon.com slash how to drink, where I assure you the parts of this episode that were a little too spicy for YouTube will wind up. I'm on Twitch doing live stuff right here from this bar, from my desk. We play tabletop role-playing games, all kinds of things at twitch.tv slash Greg from HGD. I'll see you there. I'll see you soon with another episode of HGD. But until then, you know, I've been making the show for about six years. Maybe you want to check out one of these other episodes. Look at those episodes. They are episodes. Those are definitely episodes of HGD. You, you might think they're not, but you'd be wrong. They are. Don't, don't kid a kidder. Those are episodes of HGD that maybe you haven't seen. Why don't you check them out? I'll see you soon. Okay. Bye-bye. Hey, throw me a seltzer. Oh, I died. <laughs>